What is up Midway Mayhem fans? This is Dan and we are reporting in from Fun Spot America, more specifically Kissimmee. And of course we're going to check out the storage lot and see what's here first. Most everything is just about the same, but I do notice right over here we have some supports right there and that's going to connect to the track. So those white supports are littered around all over the place. And of course we have the wood over here. We're going to get a quick look at the site over here before we're heading over to the main site with all the construction. We still have all the stacks of wood right here. Nothing has really changed. All right, so we're down over here, and again, not a whole lot has changed except for this. We have some of the much larger supports right there for the ride. There's a whole bunch of them. We'll get a better view. Well, 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 looks like the other arm for hot seat is back. Right over here inside the storage lot. So yeah, no changes, just sitting over here. Waiting to go back over to the construction site. Some pieces of wood have already been pre-cut to size, and they're numbered, as we can see right there. Alrighty guys, so here we are at the construction site on the north end, and everything, again, looking just about the same. We still have all those brackets on the ground, just waiting for supports, so hopefully very, very soon, they will be on site. I'm expecting probably in the next week or two, we're going to have vertical construction. Of course, we have all the brackets right here, and then we have some other markings, like this right here. It's a little ribbon, and it says CP11. And I think that may be control points so they know where everything is when they're actually doing their laser sights. But that's just one of the other markers that are here on the pad. And of course, some of the footings right here still have those protective caps. They have uh, done a little bit of work right here on the sidewalk cutting it up, so I'm expecting that's gonna be gone soon. And then check this out over here. It looks like the rest of the concrete pad that was in construction last week has now been poured. Looking good. And on the south side now, we're starting to see more turns, like that right there, how it goes around. So definitive turns and lines right here on the pad. Now we've moved down towards the basketball court, getting our view from the south end. And this is where they've stopped. So again, we have more of those footings right there. And the pad looking really good. So we're gonna see a lot more of those footings and brackets all over this very, very soon. We do have some workers right over here installing some more currently. So they're doing that. And then look at that. It's just a sea of all those brackets. Looks to me like a lot more bolts have arrived in the last week. We have made our way inside the park now, getting a much closer view. Some of those footings, making the turn towards the basketball court right there. And then back this way again, check out all of those in the ground right now. Just need the brackets. And here's a look at that electrical point again right there. Maybe for an on-ride photo, maybe for something else. Again, the lift should be maybe in this area. But something else I wanted to talk about is Fun Spot was supposed to announce the uh, name for this coaster, and uh, it's been a little while. Haven't heard anything on it. We contacted them and heard that they are actually hoping to do a Super Bowl ad, where they will then announce the name of the ride. So hopefully Super Bowl Sunday, we'll have a name. One more look at the new Gravity Group hybrid wooden roller coaster from the north end of the ride. All those brackets again, I know we keep saying it. But hopefully we'll see vertical construction by our next update, guys. We're gonna head over to Old Town now and see what's going on with that Ferris wheel. 
Now, I took a different route to try to get to Old Town, and I discovered something that I think should be noted, and right over here, next to the Himalayan style ride, we have some markers right there on the ground. And you may be wondering, hmm, what could that be for? Well, I was thinking, maybe this would be a good place for hot seat. In fact, we have more markings right over here on the ground. So see, all over the place. We have a little bit of writing right there as well. So yeah, picture this. So you have one leg over there, the other leg right here, and it swings you out over the water. That would be really cool. In addition to those markings, we have some area over here where the pathway has been torn up. And that's probably to get to the electrical lines so they can power the ride. So again, I'm thinking hot seat may end up over here. Nice big plot of land too. So yeah, wouldn't be surprised. All right, check this out. So we're getting our first view of the Ferris wheel without fences over here. And we're gonna walk on this pathway a little bit closer, but first I wanna show you something over on this fence. See, it says Ferris wheel, now open. Five dollars each. So I believe it's open, but it doesn't look to be, but uh, they at least have this sign right here. They are working on some of the bricks and paving for the road. And it looks like the entrance sign is all done. We're gonna, of course, walk over there and get a better view. So yeah, here we go. Along the new pathway. That area is still fenced in again. They need to do some brick work. But we're able to walk right up next to the Ferris wheel now. We have the admissions booth right here. No staff on site. Looks like we have some uh, water test dummies though right there. So it looks like we still maybe have some testing going on. But yeah, it looks beautiful. And here we are at the entrance to the Ferris wheel. See, it says enter. We'll head up this ramp up towards the Ferris wheel. Again, doesn't look like it's in operation today, even though we saw the sign. We do have the safety regulations right here. All right, so we walked around the fence now, and we're going on the new pathway right here. It's kind of neat. The bricks themselves are stamped, and it says Old Town. So that's kind of neat. Really kind of nice new pathway. And we're gonna get to go right next to the Ferris wheel. New sign looks really nice. All the lights are on, and this is the back view of it. And on the front, it looks much better. We'll show you in a second. But here we are, standing right at the base of the Ferris wheel. And here we are now at the front of the new Old Town sign. And we have the display right there with the LEDs showing off different pictures. This sign looks fantastic. The other side still has a little bit of work left to do, and we still have a little bit right here on that side. But, I mean, even up at the top, it is super shiny. Right there, looking nice. And the screens are going to be very, very bright at night. Well guys, that is going to do it for another update here at Fun Spot America, more specifically Kissimmee for the new Gravity Group Hybrid Wooden Roller Coaster. Everything is looking pretty good. And again, we should have vertical construction, I'm thinking, in the next week. Over here at Old Town, Ferris Wheel, well, we saw a sign saying that it was open, but uh, looks like they're still doing a little bit of testing. I'm expecting any day. I know I keep saying that, but really it should be open. We're going to have more updates from here and Fun Spot, so if you like what we do, Follow us on Instagram, our Facebook, YouTube, and Twitter at Midway Mayhem. And I'll see you out on the Midway.